That's uh, Pierre Pringuet. He is the CEO of uh, Pernod Ricard. Uh, Pierre, welcome uh, to the program. Uh, explain a little bit about what's happening with the consumer, North America as well as Western Europe. Unemployment is a big topic. Is there pressure on pricing and volume? Well, first of all, obviously the economic environment is not that buoyant, and particularly in Europe and the U.S., uh, but our strategy is very simple. We do not compromise on price. And by the way, this is uh, fully reflected in the fact that we improve our gross margin during the first half of the year. Now, are you seeing any contrast between what's happening to the consumer in North America and Western Europe, let's say, versus what's going on in Asia? Well, Asia is basically back on the growth track again. I mean, China is booming, but not only China. We can talk about India, Taiwan, Korea, and uh, yes, definitely, those markets where, by the way, we are the leader, are today performing extremely well. Now, uh, the purchase of uh, Absolute, one of your uh, the big brands, uh, has really caused uh, the uh, company to try to figure out ways to shed some non-strategic assets, also pay down some debt. What can we look forward to in terms of non-strategic asset sales? Well, it's basically done. I mean, we had a program for 1 billion euro. We already achieved 800 million euro, so it's, we can say it's done. But all I would say is that the benefit of having Absolute is that it completely transformed the profile of Panorica as a major supplier of premium spirit brands. Are you at all concerned that premium spirits are, in a sense, on the way out because of such high unemployment in areas like the United States that used to turn to premium brands? Well, um, if you look long term, premium brands have always driven the growth of our industry. By the way, it's where it generates the most of the margin. So, and Panorica is probably uh, the most cute to premium brands. So definitely we have full confidence that it will come back. And by the way, in order to achieve that, we invest a lot of money in marketing. Talk about that whole idea of marketing and ad spending versus promotion. How much are you spending right now? We spend for our major brands almost 25% of our net sales. When I say major brand, it means those who are here, like uh, Jameson, Absolute, uh, Beef Eater, uh, and that's between 25 and 30% of our net sales for marketing.